Hey guys, Brian Hilliard here, author of the best-selling book, Networking Like a Pro, and EverydaySuccessHabits.com. Now, as you can see, we are on the move here. You'll see that I'm actually not driving, but it, it kind of has this, like, James Bond feeling. But the, the Daniel Craig James, oh, no, no, the opposite, the Roger Moore James Bond, not the angry Daniel Craig kind, the, the kind where you're like, da, 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 like on the move. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about here today was actually a book that Deb had brought to my attention. It's called The Super Attractor, Gabriella Bernstein, um, and it is really, really good. I'm about, let's call it a, a fifth of the way through, you know, 20, 25%. And one of the points that she mentioned was, and I'm kind of paraphrasing here, was the idea that in order to stop feeling bad, you have to make a decision to actually start feeling good. You know, and she said that really when you're talking about being more successful in general, and I'm, I'm kind of jumping on here myself, when you talk about being more successful in general, um, that is the honest to gosh truth. Like you have to choose that you want to come from a place of happiness. You need to choose that you want to come from a place of openness. You need to choose that you want to be able to do um, really the things that are going to allow you to be successful. And in a lot of cases, we're having a conversation around the mindset right? The mindset of success. Now, as you guys know, I'm a big mindset man. You know, I think that mindset uh, precedes skill set. I think people jump in and they try to do all these things, but they don't realize that they have a mindset that is out of alignment with their vision. And as a result of like that, they have their foot on both the brake and the gas at the same time. And then they wonder why things aren't working out. So in order to feel better about yourself, what is it that you want to be able to do? In order to feel good, what is it that you need to do? Well, one of the things, and I know that you've heard this, is you have to accept that you're enough. Like that just has to be part of, that's like, you know, it's like the idea that sometimes things work out, sometimes things don't, but whatever it is, this is going to be, this is good enough. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is a conversation around making sure that you are surrounding yourself by people who are allowing you to grow and blossom. Toxicity. You like that? Toxicity. Toxicity. That's a word that you hear a lot. Toxic friends, toxic people, toxic environment. You got to stay out of that, okay? I've actually had to re remove myself from several toxic um, relationships and friends and people that I was around. That's a good second step. And the other thing too is, you know, and I'm a big proponent of this as well. You've heard me talk about this. If you really want to start feeling good and you want to feel better and, and just feel happy in general, um, get yourself into a morning routine. You know, first thing in the morning, Brian Tracy, he loves having a conversation. I want to say it's psychology of achievement. He loves having a conversation around what you need to be able to do in order to get yourself in that flow. He calls it the golden hour. Okay, so do some things you would be so surprised. You know, again, one of the things that Gabrielle said was that in the morning, you have two choices. You have a choice to plug into your inner self and what you need to do to fill your cup, as Deb likes to say, or you can jump on email, jump on the news, jump on cable, and jump into catch up mode. Okay, and I mean catch up, not catch up. I think you know that. Anyway, the idea is that when you're doing those things, you are gonna be able to set that pace, get yourself organized, feel good. For me, part of my morning routine is getting myself, um, I do my 15 minute fat burn, I'm out there, I walk the dog usually, unless it's cold, in which I, case I don't. Um, you know, I'll do a little meditation. I'm a, I'm a Bible man, as you guys know, I'll usually get into the Word a little bit. So these are all the types of things that I do that helps me get going, get moving, and really get aligned with who I am and really kind of get that trajectory right and get my mindset right as I head into my day. All right, so that is a really good book. Like I said, Super Attractor by Gabrielle Bernstein. If you haven't had a chance to look at it, I would highly recommend it. Um, but in the meantime, feel free to like, share, or comment below. You know how I feel about that. I am all about that. If you have any questions or points that you want to be able to make, you just let me know. I personally answer all of those right there. And as always, feel free to swing by our website. That would be EverydaySuccessHabits.com. www.EverydaySuccessHabits.com. It's got all kinds of good stuff and you can even plug into our podcast. But in the meantime, my name is Brian Hilliard saying so long, take care, and thanks so much for your time.